let's talk about the system RQ key. Now, someone popped in my live stream and said, hey, Titus, you need to know about the system RQ key and use that uh, for Linux. And I was like, what the heck is the system RQ key? And I pulled up my keyboard and found this. Right there above the insert key is the print screen and the system RQ key. That system RQ key is right by the scroll lock and pause and break. So with system RQ, you can do all kinds of cool stuff like reboot a system that's not responsive. You can sync your hard disks before you reboot or forcibly reboot. That causes uh, you not to have journaling errors and things like that or data loss when you go to you know reboot that system. When you just walk over and hit the reset button, there's things that happen that can you know, hurt data, which is, is bad. You've probably seen it when you forcibly reboot your Linux box and it says, hey, all these journaling errors, that's not good. So that's what we're gonna fix in today's video. So let's get into it. This video is brought to you by CDN77, the content delivery network used by space agencies and CentOS. I also am using this on ChrisTitus.com to speed up my website. So if you're interested in this, click the link in the description. Now, before we jump on the desktop, I want to go over an acronym, something for you to remember. Now, typically when you're on here, you're gonna hold the Alt key and then probably your print screen or the SysRQ key itself, it's actually a dual key, and then press these key combinations. So you're gonna remember resub or reboot, even if system utterly broken, resub. <laughs> so each one of those stands for a specific one and I'm actually gonna go on the desktop and go back to the computer and yell out each one of these. So I'll go Alt, System RQ or the print screen button and then press R for the R command which would basically take the keyboard and put it in raw format and then do the Alt key, System RQ, and then E, that would terminate all the processes running on the PC, and then so on and so forth. And I'll go through what each one of these means here in a second. But let's get over the desktop and try this out so you can see how to recover a locked or broken Linux system without uh, any potential for data loss. Okay, so first up here, let's check to see if it's enabled. And uh, let's go up, I've actually just run this. If we do a cat proc sys kernel, sysrq that's that key we just talked about it says 16 sometimes this is a hundred sometimes this is a, a bigger number than one uh, or it might say zero which means it's disabled entirely this actually needs to be a one for sysrq to work so we can mainly just go ahead and change this uh, by just going echo one moving this directly into proc dash sys dash kernel dash sysrq this would do it. Um, obviously, you can't do just sudo for this type of command. We'll have to switch over to the root and do that same command. So we'll do that, exit, and we'll re reprint it out. Now, now that it's one, we can actually do the full command. Now, this won't survive a reboot. So if we need this to do this every time, if you're actually wanting to use these key combinations every time uh, you're on Linux, uh, what you can do is change it to where it works that way. So let's go ahead and do that. So to do that, we'll switch user again, go back to root. And this time we're gonna actually add a line into the 99-syscontrol.conf. Uh, this will actually be adding kernel.sysrq equals one to the end of this file. So by doing this, now on reboots, sysrq will work all the time. So if we reboot this and do a cat, it'll still show one. So now we've enabled sysrq. It can do every key combination. And I left the cheat sheet down in the description. So if you want to know every single one, you can. So with that, let's go over and reboot this system. Now I'll go ahead and do an htop so you can kind of see what's happening on the actual system as I do the key combinations. Now remember the key combinations, it's resub, R-E-I-S-U-B. We're gonna run that resub, reboot, even if system utterly broken. Just remember that acronym. Uh, and I'm gonna shout out as I do each command and you're gonna see what happens on the screen as we do it. So let's do this. 
All right, I'm holding Alt system, and now I'm pressing R. This gave me raw keyboard input, Alt system, E. This basically killed all tasks, or actually terminated tasks. Alt system, I. This killed all tasks, so we terminated and killed tasks now. Alt system, S. Uh, S syncs up the file system, so it goes ahead and does an emergency sync. You see it in the top right corner there. Alt system, U. This goes ahead and remounts everything as read only, so there's no more writes going out to those drives. And then Alt system B for reboot. That's it. That's how you would recover a system without it actually showing a whole bunch of journal loss and things of that nature. Uh, on reboot here, we should see that it boots up and it doesn't say, hey, a whole bunch of journal entries are, are messed up. It'll actually terminate your system properly without having a whole bunch of things. This is vital for server work and those types of things. So the, the sysrq key is really, really nice. So that was systemrq. Absolutely love this key. I had no idea really what you could use it for on the Linux kernel until I really started diving deep into this content. Uh, I think this would be very beneficial, especially if you have lockups often. I would probably just go ahead and enable this full time so then you can easily do this whenever your system locks up and not have to worry about all those journaling errors or losing data uh, because you did too many hard resets, these types of things. So let me know your thoughts down in the comments section below. And as always, thank you to all my patrons. Without you, I couldn't make videos like this one. And I'll see you in the next one.